The steel's there, which Alex brought around on his own, because all steel should be that big. But these are all the damaged bricks around it, so we've actually replaced. So we're going back as far as we can. As deep as we can. I've, I've gone right back to the end of the old, the original house. So it's all A different video though. Good happy Friday morning. Fry it Friday. Bacon butter and latte devoured. 25 past 8. 7th of July. This time last year me and Alex were in Manchester Airport waiting for our flight to Paris to go to the uh, Disneyland Paris, Paris opening event for Attractions magazine. We were press. <laughs> Good fun wasn't it? Yeah. Apart from being ill. Yeah, so we're back to back to now, back to the now. We're just clearing this crap up, so we've got room to work. Then doors coming out. Two just to do. We, we've opted for the saws all rather than the grinder because it's a bit dusty and we don't upset the neighbours again with the grinder. Obviously, that's all to do. We've got uh, we're going to put two planks up with the two acros to take all the joists and um, knock a big hole out the wall basically. The steel's there, which Alex brought around on his own, because all steel should be that big. Look at it. Beautiful. But plenty strong enough to take the floor joists. Um, yeah, we're all set up. So, yep, yeah, so the door out, two of this out, brickwork up, block work up. Uh, we're going to cut the, um, the cavity out as well, if there is a cavity there, because obviously there's no door there anymore. Lintel's all done. I just need to pack up the joists with a bit of slate so we can take the acros out and that's all finished complete. Lintel's all complete from yesterday. Lintel tray vents. You see the tray up there. There's the tray. Cavity tray. And there's no insulation done in anywhere because the whole house isn't insulated so it's all clear for them to be to get to blow all the insulation after, should they choose to. So um, let's get this shite moved and crack on. There you go. That's um, that piece of brick is a cavity closure. The rest of it was just shit in the cavity. It's still the tie wire. Uh, yeah. Do you think that tie wire is running it for external to it? Ex internal to external, I don't think so. That one does. I'll give the tie wires a bang because they're all covered in snots as well. There's another bit of snot in there. So what we always do is we uh, we take out as much crap as we can reach. And it's absolutely clogged there. Yeah. And then we'll probably be able to get at that bit when we take this out. So when we do all this out we'll get some more crap out. So um Never leave the shit in if it's there. And then we've just got to get the door out, take the cavity out this side, same as this on both sides. So always the same, whenever you're breaking a, do a door up, always have the cavity cut running right through. And when they come, you're doing away with the, the damp and the cold bridge spots. <coughs> and then I should imagine we'll get the insulation blown in eventually. We've been so keen on the uh, insulation right now. So, and that gives it a clear run when they do that.
Let me just stop you right there a sec because I just want to have a quick word with you regarding our new sponsor, Ridge Wallet. The Ridge is a more efficient and stylish way of holding your cash and cards. As you can see here, it takes up so much less space than your usual buy or trifold wallets. The Ridge holds up to 20 cards with RFID blocking, so anyone trying to swipe your information, you can't do that in a Ridge wallet. And you can see here, as well as holding cards, you can store cash with the clip and with the coin case you can keep any loose change in your wallet. You can also get an AirTag for your Ridge, so you will never lose your wallet again. Works like a tracking pod. And Ridge are also doing a special bundle offer where if you get the wallet and the key case, you get 30% off your order. So with the key case, you can store up to six keys in a secure and compact little case. So your keys are all in one place and they're not rattling around in your pocket. And again, just nice and easy storage. With these, you also get a lifetime warranty. And if you're not happy, you can return it within 99 days and get a full refund. You can take my word for it, or you can take the word of over 80,000 people who have given these products five star reviews. If you wanted to get a wallet, now's your best time because you can also head over to our link in the description or you can use the code BRICKLING to get 10% off your order. So that's BRICKLING, B-R-I-C-K-L-A-Y-I-N-G and you'll get 10% off your order. And if that's not incentive enough, your next wallet purchase could be something big because Ridge have teamed up with Hennessy on this sweepstakes. You could be in with the chance of winning either a Hennessy Bronco Velociraptor or 75K in cash. Enter for free on their website. And to increase your chances of winning, every dollar spent on their store is an extra entry up to 1,000 entries. And using our link also gives you an extra 10 entries. So once again, all you have to do is head over to our link or use ridge.com slash bricklaying and using bricklaying in the checkout as our discount code. The winner will be announced in October, so best of luck. And once again, thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this video. So enough from me. Back to me at the job. Good. Tiles are up and the uh, well, the bottom bit's exposed now for the blocks to go on. Dad's just clean out that god awful cavity. But, uh, tell you what, they they didn't fill it with insulation. They filled it with shit and thought that would uh, do the job. But I've got this side out with the sold all. Once I changed that blade, it was a dream. So. After the break, I'll get the other side out and then I'll break this out and just keep cracking on. Once I've got that out and that out, I'll get a mix on ready for doing this brick and block work. So yeah, we'll catch you after break. Right, it's just gone 11 o'clock. Where's that morning gone? I'll tell you where it's gone. In that van? No, we spent a good hour getting shit out of this cavity. Just getting the crap out, haven't we? I'd yeah. say what, four tub, four tub fulls? Yeah. Four of them full crap. So we're going back as far as we can. As deep as we can. I've, I've gone right back to the end of the old, the original house. So it's all clear. So that's ready for me to get on the saws or get these tubers out and that's going to get this mess out. Yeah.
I just wanted to uh, hit record on this because Dad just took one more brick out there to patch up because it had a hole in it. And he's took it out. And that is what he's fished out from that one brick hole. Unfortunately, right there is solid concrete and I can't budge it. The only way to get that out is by taking the wall down. And we have to stop somewhere. So, we've, got, we've, we've done what we always do and took exact as much as we possibly can out that we can reach. And then, can't reach anymore. We've, we've spent a good two hours on that. So, where uh, solid concrete came from in a bloody cavity? God knows. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, look at that. And that's just from one brick hole they stuck out. So, uh, I don't know what they did when they built this house. They must have used it as a skip. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, show you that. But other than that, that hole's ready for patching. That brick's ready. Dad's got his mortar now. So while he's focusing on that, we got a little setup for me over there. So I'm ready to stitch drill the... They are. Just stick the camera in there for the concrete in the corner. That's where the concrete starts there. Right, you may be flipped on your side here. Let's see what happens. That ain't budging.
nearly two o'clock. Ten to two update. We had a late dinner. We're wasted. We've just well not wasted. We've lost a good two hours trying to get this cavity clean. Absolute nightmare. And we never managed to get it all done, which is an absolute shame, but we've done our best, which we always do. A lot of people don't even bother doing that, they just bricked over it. But um while we had the, had the holes, we took the opportunity to clean it out. I think we've got four gorilla tubs out at least out of these the cavity around here, which is a joke. And when we took all this up around the doorway, it was all wet, it was all damp. There's a piece of timber in the cavity that was wet, and all this was sand, it was all wet, and then the rest of it was debris in the cavity. So once we're done, it's gonna be all nice and clean. And just a window, so you can see where the window is now. You won't see the frogs when the window's in because the window will be up to there. So you'll just see that front edge. And I think we need to take the block weight back a touch. Yeah. But um, yeah, we'll do that later or tomorrow. And then there's the block weight to go in. Um, I think that's it. Alex has done the stitch there on that side. He's used a 16 mil bit so we can see daylight through a good style. And he was, um, to keep the dust down, he was using the hoover as he was drilling, which is a cracking idea. Yeah, and we've, um, we've nailed a bit of dusty as well to kind of reduce the yeah stop blow it blowing to the other side which i think it worked yeah it good you couldn't see as much in the air yeah because so. we haven't got enough dust sheets to cover the living room up yeah. so um i'm halfway through pointing this up and now it's just getting yourself set up there he's going to get me another bucket of water and then he's going to crack on yeah once i'm done with that he's going to help me prep up the acros and then i'll try and get some blocks out yes make a start see happy days daylight <laughs> This tends to be the template. There we go. Good bit of good bit of progress. Just stop falling on customer. 
Yeah, I bet that's the event there. Yeah, it will be. But here we go. I'll take you to the front to look at the bricks properly, but you can see where the window's going to be now. Yeah, I've got to board it up yet. Yeah. I think yeah. a piece of three by two either side and nail it. Nail what? Nail gun. Piece of three by two there, three by two there, cut the boards to fit and nail it. What boards? The boards are brought. Didn't know you brought any. I did. Well. So again, I'll take you to the front end. There's my progress. <laughs> the blocks are absolutely horrible to break because they don't break. They uh, they just chip off or just grab your uh, bit and don't give it back. But so we're gonna bring the heavy firepower tomorrow. Maybe a sledgehammer too. But here's Dad's progress from this side. Yeah, looks quite nice. It's my first time seeing this too. And then here's this bit. We're seven bricks short because obviously there was a few breakages up there and we had to take more out of here than we originally thought. So we're going to nip to Warrington tomorrow morning and and hope that you just go have them. What's the betting that someone's going to need a 2,000 break tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, I know I'll get them somewhere local, but it's just fine. Huh? Yeah. It's better to just go where we know, not finding around all day. But yeah, so you'll you probably join us for the journey to uh, Warrington tomorrow. So we'll uh, catch, you, catch you in the van. Good. Saturday morning from the driveway. We're off for uh, an adventure today, aren't we? Aye. No. That's a polite way of putting it. We're off to, um, it used to be called Lee Concrete, but then it's bought by Hughes Grey, so now it's just a Hughes Grey branch. But it used to be like the brick specialist place for the whole of the Northwest. If anyone needed bricks, that's where they went to. And they still have quite, quite a big brick yard. And it's the only place we can get all of these Ibstock Tradesmen Buff Multis. <sighs> Popular brick, but no one stocks them. The only other places where we got them from, which is, um, the brick store in Wigan, which closed early on a Friday and don't open at the weekend. So instead of, instead of us waiting till Monday to finish this job, we're just going to nip to Hughes Grave now while the traffic's nice and light. It's actually in Warrington, which is probably about a half hour trek. And then um, pick up the bricks, finish, I just finish the patching. Alex is going to carry on with that wall. I'm going to finish the block work and then we're going to get this wall out and get these steels in. Sorry, this steel, this little babby steel. So, um, right, let's head to Warrington. I'll sit, sit here. Let's do a little time. Up here. the Northwest's biggest and best place to come to for bricks. They generally buy discontinued loads as well so they have a lot of stuff you can't get hold of everywhere else. So let's go and get our bricks loaded up. Uh, I forgot to press play. There we are. Set the camera up and everything and got the shot and missed the shot. Let's so there back. you go. Catty Brook Tradesman. Tradesman buff. A copy of the London buff. Infinite number of bricks. Half, the, half, the price. half the price, better quality. Yeah. Right, let's get back. Just uh, checking the wall. We've got one shipper. We've got one shipper. Yeah. 
chipper, but we've got no spares. We've got spares. Yeah. We've got the camera, we'll film, we'll film driving out. That's where you get spares. Yeah. <laughs> Do me a favour, mate. Just film it for a reel. On your phone. Just film them out. Where's your phone? In my pocket. Don't want your phone. Just put it on charge when you're done. Right, let's go. Brick City. Turn nine o'clock and we've arrived. So we've got plenty to do. So let's get get cracking. Once I've drunk that, boots on, and on we go. Right, we're set up. Got tools ready. We've uh, I've got that part set up. Dad has kindly got the dust sheet set up for me on the other side. Mix is in. We may need more sand. We'll find out. But so we just got. That many blocks to do. Ten. Ten blocks. About nine brick. And then just a load of demolition. A lot of pads. Yeah. It's ten o'clock, so are you having a yes. quick break? We're all set up, so I've got my cuts to do and go back out. Yeah. So we'll catch you after break. Yeah. Nice job. Cool. Okay. It's probably after eleven now. We're deaf. We've lost. Hour and a half going for them bloody bricks this morning, and we've lost two hours cleaning that bloody cavity out. We're well behind, we thought we'd have been done within an hour. But we just, just got to roll with the punches and get on with it. So I've just finished this. Nice little sponge finish on it. That was, probably, remember, it's probably just four bricks on top of each other, but these are all the damaged bricks around it. So we've actually replaced. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 6, 15 bricks we've replaced. And we put one down there as well. <laughs> so that was a lot more work than we thought, but it certainly looks a million times better. I mean, the brickwork on the house is not nice. The brickwork on the extension is not nice. So at least our bit's tidy. But yeah. We're all finished out here. I put an extra batten on top just to seal the top. I think it's two weeks before the window's ready, so that's all secure. We just um, we just knit, uh, screwed a couple of pieces of three by two either side, one in there with the joiners, and then just nail gunned it into position. So yeah, I'm finished here. It's all cleaned up. I'm going to go inside now. Get a lot of work done, which is about six blocks, eight blocks to do, while Alex is bashing down that wall. And then um, the only thing left to do around here is take that door to the skip. Yes, to the skip. That's where the customer wants to go. And I'll show you why. Well, <laughs> there's a hinge broke off it for starters. And look at the state of it. Do you want to buy that and clean it up and reuse it? With a knackered dog flap in the panel. The door's knackered. It's well past its use by date. So yeah, it's going in the skip. So there you go, finished article. As always, a lot more work than it looks. Oh, brick a door up, put a lintel in, bish bosh. It's never that straightforward. But yeah, let's get inside and get help, get help in Alex. Well, I've just gone to stop the camera and it wasn't going, so. Sorry about that, you missed that. So, 
brickwork complete inside and outside just need to tidy up a little around this area and then I'm going back there to help out it Alex 1, rain 0 I am nice and dry so it can rain all at once. <laughs> I'm just going to do the outro out here. So there's the window. New lintel brought out to uh, the new window height. Let's do that again. New lintel to match the new window length. All bricked up, a nice brick match. There's the finished result of that uh, little awful patch with the bricks we picked up this morning. God, that does not feel like it was this morning. That feels like feels like the other day now. Bloody hell. Huh. For now, I'll just uh, say thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always know when we're notified. That's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. Very much appreciated. This has been Rick Lang with Steve and a very dry Alex. Rainproof. And we will see you in the next one.